the Crow Child Classic. The Crosstown Smackdown sees the University of Calgary Dinos taking on the Mount Royal University Cougars at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome in Calgary. This season marks the fourth year for the Classic, which continues to break CIS attendance records. Dino's assistant athletic director Ben Matchett explains how this event came about. The Royal joined uh, Canada West in 2012. We started to look at what opportunities we'd have around kind of creating that in-town rivalry. We knew we had an opportunity there and so we created the Crow Child Classic Series which takes uh, all the games that we play in regular season action against each other in soccer, basketball, volleyball and hockey and puts them together and that's kind of the season long championship but the Flames approached us with this actually in uh, late, uh, I guess late December of 2012 with the idea of kind of having the finale of this as a doubleheader in hockey at the Saddle Dome. And the Crowchild Classic is a huge event for not only both athletic departments, but also for the fans and the players. But for the rest of our student athletes, it happens midweek, so it's an opportunity for a lot of them to come out and see games that they might not necessarily otherwise be able to when they're playing on a Friday and Saturday night. So they get to be there on a Thursday, they get to be part of the whole atmosphere with the Dinos versus the Cougars in the stands, and uh, you see student athletes from both teams kind of get, or from both schools kind of getting into it as well. So it's, it's a, just a really awesome event on both sides. So what's on the line for the Classic? The winner of the Crowchild Classic every year gets the medal, which is a 68 kilogram cast iron City of Calgary manhole that says sewer on it. It's probably the only trophy in all of sport that has the word sewer emblazoned right there on it. Mount Royal's head coach Burt Gilling talks about what this event does for the athletes and how the Classic gives Calgary a taste of how great the Canada West Conference is in their own backyard. You know, the, the game's still the game. Um, it's a crosstown rivalry, but it's just that, I think that feeling of going into that rink, stepping onto that ice, you know, the hair on the back of your neck is standing up. And for our student athletes here, where it's, where it's such a challenge to, to get fans to come out and watch, it's such a good product. Um, it's a chance to showcase our sport and our programs and let people know how good the hockey really is here. Uh, not only in the city of Calgary with our two programs, but in Canada West and in CIS. It's a real showcase for our athletes and they take full advantage of that. Having watched the Classic grow, Cougars captain Matt Brown knows firsthand what this experience is like. I think it's pretty amazing. Um, it's hard to predict what it'll be like this year, but it's grown every year. So um, everyone you talk to, everyone's always asking when the Dome game is, when is it? So uh, yeah, I think it should be, should be even more interesting this year. It's tough to Tough to say, but we're expecting a bigger crowd, and it, it just keeps getting better every year, I find. Dino's assistant captain Heather Burzens explains why the Crowchild Classic is about more than just hockey. All the athletes really like to come out and support when we're playing Mount Royal, and it's a really big game, obviously, because of the Crowchild Classic as a whole, and if one athletics team win, then we all kind of come together and try to win the whole Crowchild Classic, so it's a really important game for all the athletes to come out to. The manhole's on the line for the Classic, but for the athletes, there's a little bit more. There's a lot of pride on the line definitely for this game. And it's the one game of the year where, you know, it kind of set the record for the whole CIS and uh, everyone really wants to bring their A game and put on for their school, so uh, it's pretty special that way. Having broken two previous CIS records with 8,882 fans in 2015, it's easy to understand why records keep getting broken as the hype for this Classic grows. For Campus Corner, I'm Kellyanne Roberts.